This was a historic night for the Clemson defense, getting two defenders taken in the first round of the NFL draft. First time that's happened in school history, and just the third time that Clemson has had multiple defenders uh, at any position taken. So really shows you how far this defense has come from the 70-33 to debacle a few years ago with the Orange Bowl, and now getting two guys, Vic Beasley and Stephon Anthony, trusted with uh, two teams' defensive futures, and two teams in the NFC South as well. thought this was interesting. You look at the stats last year, the Falcons were statistically the worst defense in the NFL. Saints were second worst when you look at total yards, and uh, both those teams turned to the NCAA's number one college defense last year for reinforcements. So uh, again, a big night really when uh, you look at Brent Venable's development of both Beasley and Anthony, as well as the guys like Grady Jarrett, Corey Crawford, and others who are sure to hear their names called through the rest of the draft. You look at the Falcons' uh, production on the edge at pass rusher, and it just hasn't been there. Uh, Atlanta has been bottom five in the NFL three straight years in sacks garnered, and so that's why Vic Beasley really is a great fit for this defense because that's what he does. He goes and he gets the passer. Uh, Anthony, he's a hard hitter. He flies to the football. He's got a motor. Uh, Venable said last fall camp that he plays like his hair's on fire. And that's exactly the kind of guy that led Clemson to new heights on defense. It's the kind of guy that the Saints need to dig out of the depths of the NFC South.